Hello guys in this video lecture we will talk about brain stem first of all we see which part of the brain are included in brain stem brain stem included three parts first one is medulla or medulla oblongata or simply we can say medulla pons and midbrain these three parts medulla pons and midbrain is collectively called brain stem this is the sagittal view of the right half of the brain and this is midbrain pons and medulla and these three collectively called brain stem as we know the stem of the plants is a connection between the roots and aerial part of the plant in the same way the brain stem is a connecting link between the remainder of the brain and the spinal cord remainder means cerebrum and the midbrain and all of the brain parts that are not included in the brain stem midbrain is included in the brain stem and remainder part of the brain is the forebrain cerebrum thalamus and hypothalamus all the incoming and outgoing fibers which are going between higher brain centers and periphery has to pass through the brain stem except olfactory and optic nerves does not pass through the brain stem because these olfaction and optic sense organs are present at the such height level of the body so that these are at the, at this height of the body so that these nerves can be directly made a connection between higher brain centers these nerves should not have to pass through the brain stem okay remember these things brain stem is comprised of medulla pons and midbrain and it is a link between the spinal cord and the remainder remainder of the brain the higher brain centers all the nerves that are going through periphery peripheral nervous system higher brain centers has to pass through the brain stem now we discuss about the functions of brain stem functions of brain stems are first sensation input and motor output in the head and neck via cranial nerves all the muscles in the head and neck are controlled by the brain stem 12 pairs of cranial nerves arise from brain stem most supplying structures in the head and neck the structures in the head and neck are important in sight hearing solving the sensation of the scalp and the movement of the eyes are all controlled by brain stem except the vagus nerve vagus nerve which originate from the brain stem is does not innervate the structures in the head and neck instead it innervate the organs in the thoracic and abdominal cavities in thoracic lungs diaphragm and in abdominal cavity intestines and all the structures that are present in abdominal cavity second function of the brain stem it, it controls reflex of the heart blood vessels and digestion third modulating the sense of pain it the perception of pain is controlled by brain stem fourth one is regulation of muscle fibers involved in equilibrium and posture and the last one is last but not the least receives and integrates all synaptic input by the reticular formation what is this reticular formation we will discuss about this in another video lecture lastly previously it was thought that the brain stem is also involved in the sleep wake cycle that sleep controlling sectors centers are also present in the brain stem but the recent research suggests that the sleeping centers are housed in hypothalamus not in the brain stem previously it was it was one of the function of the brain stem to control sleeping but now modern research suggests that it is the wrong one the sleeping centers are housed in hypothalamus this is enough for this lecture i hope it will helpful for you if you are searching for this lecture this topic i will meet you in the next lecture
Take care. Support me. Allah Hafiz.